we were working on um, uh, sympathetic activity, parasympathetic activity. And one of the things is, you know, the pattern that we use to treat uh, sympathetic nervous system, again, sympathetic nervous system activity is fight, flight, um, or freeze. You know, it's tied to like being active during the day, but in the extreme, it's fight, flight, or, or freeze. And so you could also say this is tied um, to like stress responses and just, um, you know, pushing when you got to get things done. And so what happens when, when we're like that, the mind tends to be more reactive, right? Like you, you tend to react to things rather than processing things. Because if you're always in that fight, flight, or, or freeze mode, you're not really processing things. You're just either fighting, you know, running, or, or freezing, you know, just shutting down and, and checking out a little bit. And so one of the things that um, can be really good for offsetting this is, you know, we did this part where we were purifying the sympathetic nervous system. And that means also fortifying the adrenals, you know, because it's not just the nervous system that we're targeting. It's just that that is the focal point. But, you know, anything that that system would, would engage. So here would also be your adrenals. And so... Um, you know, respiratory rate, there's a whole bunch of things. And so um, with that, we were using uh, sage. And here we use sage triloba, um, but you could use Dalmatian sage, you could use re regular sage, you could use uh, Spanish sage. Clary sage actually doesn't work too well for this. Um, uh, clary sage hits the central nervous system a little bit more, not so much the sympathetic nervous system. Um, some of the fancier sages, um, like the sacred sage and the blue mountain sage, also a little bit more for other parts of the nervous system. So just your good old fashioned um, sages. And so let's go through and just do a little quick breathing protocol with that. If you don't have sage, um, you don't have sage, you could use vetiver maybe work, uh, spike nard, and you didn't have that, maybe even just lavender. Lavender could work, but sage would be definitely the, the, the strong one. But notice your mind, notice how you, you th are thinking about something, like, you know, just think of something that's happened in the last like 24 or 48 hours. And then with that, Pull out your, the oil that you're going to use and begin inhaling. And your awareness is on the front heart. And this pattern, we're going to go front heart, back heart, forehead, back head, is very specific to the sympathetic nervous system. It, and when the nervous system, when this part of the nervous system is agitated, we have a hard time integrating something. When it's calm and regulated, right? We're able to integrate something and then be able to process it. So it's really tied to the ability to integrate something into the emotions, into the mind, and you could say into your psyche. And so sage is actually really good for this process. This is why like in the Native American traditions, they sage before you go into ceremony or, you know, it, it helps with integration of the work that you're doing. So begin inhaling and your awareness is on your front heart, the center of your chest. Long, slow, deep breaths with your awareness on your heart. And then move your awareness to the back heart.
Your awareness is on your back heart. The area is between your shoulder blades. You're taking long, slow, deep breaths. And then move your awareness to your forehead, which is where your hairline is. And then your back head, your awareness is on your back head. And then just be still, be aware, just let go for a moment. And then again, same oil, same process. Begin inhaling. Your awareness is on the front heart. Your awareness is on the back heart. The forehead, your awareness is on the forehead.
and then the back hand. Just be still. And let's do it one more time. Begin inhaling. Your awareness is on your front heart. And this time, if there's something in particular that's bothering you, think about the situation as you inhale with your awareness on the front heart. Continue to think of the situation, but now your awareness is on the back heart. Continue with the imagery. Your awareness is on your forehead. And again, continue with the imagery. Your awareness is on the back head. Just be still, be aware, just let go. Okay, we're going to switch over to the 